Hi my friends, we just came back from the Elvis concert of 2024 in Eindhoven, Holland in the FNR and let me tell you it was a great great show uh, it was organized by my friend uh, Arjan Dalen and he did a terrific job and the band was smoking hot they were fantastic and the ETA wasn't bad either take a look I filmed something Waiting to get in. Mr. Bob Lenning. How does this feel today? Oh, fantastic. Oh my gosh, you're such such good looking people. My God. We should have dressed up. All these pretty girls right on the front row. True, yeah. <laughs> Bob, you know, Orleans has always been something special for us. Is there anything that you want to say to the audience? Well, it's just wonderful to be here. You know, in 1969, I worked with a great bass player uh, by the name of Jerry Sheff, and uh, he was, became Elvis' bass player for the many, many years, and he and I did some sessions, and he turned to me one day and he said, you know, I think Elvis might be looking for a drummer. Do you want me to put your name in? And I got the call, and I showed up at ABC, and we played a couple of songs, and Elvis turned to James Burton and said, I think we found our drummer. So it was a wonderful experience, and I loved Elvis, and I had a ball. Bob Lenny. Okay, Bob Lenny. En ik heb nog een verrassing. Deze man heeft samengewerkt met Elvis van 1966 tot 1972. Je kunt hem horen op bijna alle studioplaten uit die tijd, alle live platen. Je kunt hem zien in de concertfilm Elvis, That's the way it is. Dames en heren, Mr. Jim Murray. Hello. Hello Jim, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I've never been somewhere where you, I, I got a standing ovation before I did anything. Look at this. Look at these beautiful people. You know, you've told me that gospel music was always something special for Elvis. Yes, that's one thing that uh, I believe because of the way he was raised in church. His mama loved gospel music and took him to service. And I think that's why his music has so much soul. Because he gave everything he had to his music for his fans. And I believe that's why it's still the best music in the world. Are you going to sing some of those gospel songs tonight? Yes, we are. I mean, I believe that you have a surprise for us. You want to introduce somebody. Oh, she's not a surprise to me, but she's beautiful. Would you welcome my wife, Brenda Murray? It's so good to have you here. Actually, you also knew Elvis. You got to meet him in 1960. What's the story? Uh, Elvis was, his first love was gospel music. So I met him through gospel music at the National Quartet Convention in Memphis, Tennessee. We spent the rest of the night singing and playing 
at Grayson Gospel Music. Gospel Music, great. What is your most dearest memory of Elvis? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. <laughs> and you you told me backstage that you once made a shirt for him. What's the story behind that? Uh, before Elvis wore jumpsuits, he loved to have the high collared fluffy shirt, three quarter sleeve, usually a paisley print. And I was making them for my late husband, Cheryl Nielsen. And he had gone into the, he touched me, RCA recording studio. And Elvis goes over and he says, where did you get that shirt? I want it. And of course Cheryl was afraid to take it off and give it to him because he knew I'd kill him. <laughs> but anyway, they called me three o'clock in the morning and I bundled up my daughter, uh, Cherie, who was like nine months old at the time, went down, measured Elvis, and made him some beautiful shirts. Thank you. Well, thank you for your stories. Jim and Brenda Murray. Well, I think we're ready. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Dames and heren, uit Orlando, Florida, Swirls beste Elvis tribute artist, Mr. Dwight Eisenhower.
destijds in 1970 gehoord hebben. Dus dit is echt uniek. Are you guys ready? 